Okay. One more topic from this section is um, completing the square. Okay. So going from standard form to vertex form. Let's go through the process of completing the square. Here's the process. Pause the video. Read those steps before I start. Okay. To complete the square, you have to remember the rule of a perfect square trinomial. An a plus b squared is equal to an a squared plus a 2ab plus a b squared. So the first term, so if I have a plus b squared, that's equal to the first term squared plus double um, the product of the two terms plus the second term squared. And same if I have a minus b squared, that's equal to the first term squared minus two times the product of those two terms plus the second term squared. Okay. So convert the, the following equation into vertex form by completing the square. My steps for completing the square, always first step, make sure you do this, group the first two terms together. Okay. Our goal, I should, uh, I should just clarify this again, our goal is to go from um, standard form, ax squared plus bx plus c, to vertex form, y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. To go from here to here, in order to make it look like this, we want this is the hard part, getting um, this binomial squared in the middle here. Um, if we can make this um, quadratic equation here, if we can make it be a perfect square trinomial, we can factor it to be a binomial square. Okay. So in order to make standard form go to vertex form, we have to make this into a perfect square trinomial so that when we factor it, it goes to a binomial square. Okay. So this is how we do that. So we're in the process of making this be a perfect square trinomial. Okay. So in order to do that, um, I group the first two terms, and then I don't want a number in front of the x squared here, so I'm going to factor it out from the numbers in the bracket. So I now have x squared plus 6x in the brackets because I divided it both by 2. Okay, that 13 just off by itself out there. Okay, now what I want to do, I want to make what's inside the brackets here be a binomial squared so that I have, so I can factor it and it turns into vertex form. So to make it be a binomial square, I know, I know the last term here has to be so I know the middle term, this is our middle term, we need to figure out what term I need to add to this to make it a perfect square trinomial so that I can factor it to be a binomial square. I know, um, so 6 is my middle term, I know 6 has been doubled because the middle has been doubled, and then, so if I take half of 6, that gives me b, and then if I square it, that'll give me b squared, okay? So half of 6 is 3, um, 3 squared is 9, okay? So x squared plus 6x plus 9, but I can't just go around just adding 9 to equations and claiming that they're equal. If I add 9, I also have to subtract 9, okay? But I don't want that negative 9 in there, because if I, that gets in the way of my factoring. So what I need to do is I need to get that out of the brackets. To get it out of the brackets, I have to multiply it by the 2 that's out front, okay? So multiply it by the 2. Just multiply the negative 9 by 2, because I only want the negative 9 to get out of there. Negative 9 times 2 is negative 18. Now what I have inside the brackets here is a perfect square trinomial. I have a numbered squared at the beginning, a number squared at the end, that's a 3 squared. Um, and then I have 2 times the product of x times 3, which is 6x. Okay, So I can now factor that. My factored form is, here's my, my a value, here's my, b, here's my a squared value, here's my b squared value. So my a value is actually x, and my b value is actually 3. So it's x plus 3 squared. And then negative 18 plus 13, that's negative 5. The shortcut to go from here to here, to factoring that, it's always going to be x plus half of the number you see in the, in the middle term here. Always x plus half of this middle term. Half of 6 is 3. That's the shortcut we're going to use. Okay? Now you can pull out your vertex easily. Remember the vertex is hk, which is negative 3, negative 5. Okay? And I know that that is a minimum point. That's the minimum point. Because the parabola opens up, that's the minimum point. At negative 3, negative 5, that's the minimum point. Okay? That's it for quadratics. Okay? That's quadratics really fast. That's quadratics. And oh, it took about half an hour. So I'll try and get through trig um, extra fast so we can try and get the whole year in an hour. Okay? So that's it for quadratics. Make sure you go through your view package. Make sure you go through your notes. Go through your old tests so that you're ready for quadratics on the exam. Okay. See you guys. See you guys.